So I went ahead and compared the three of the most popular 2.5K dash cameras and these are the DD Pimola N3, the 70mm A500 and the 70mm A400 and the winner among these three dash cameras is, well, let's go ahead and find out. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Travel Tech. So as promised in my previous videos, so here is the ultimate comparison video of the 2.5K dash cameras and that is the DD Pimola N3, the 70mm A500 and the 70mm A400 and this is going to be one exciting video so make sure to watch the entire video so that you get a clear picture regarding which one of these dash cameras you should go ahead and buy for and in case if you have missed my previous comparison video of the DD Pi Z50 along with the 70mm A800 and also an added benefit of the next Digitron A3. Do go ahead and click down on the description. You'll find all the relevant links right there. And guys, if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed to Travel Tech, well, you're missing out on a lot of action and a lot of future interesting videos. So make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button right away. Also, do not forget to like this video before watching the rest of the video. Now, before I go ahead and show you the actual video sample footages and the comparison between the three of them, let's show you the most important aspect that is the price point of these three different dash cameras. Now, starting with the 70mm A400. Now, this is a dual channel dash cam and it comes at a price of 8300 29 rupees now followed that by the mola n3 the mola n3 has a lot of variants in both dual and a single channel the dual channel variant has a gps and a non-gps version the single variant also has a gps and a non-gps variant but the dual channel version with gps costs you about 9309 rupees and the non-gps version comes at a price of 8329 rupees the single channel version with gps comes at a price of 7149 rupees and the non-gps version comes at a price of 6200 19 rupees now follow that by the 70mm a500 now this also comes in a dual and a single channel version the dual channel version will cost you 10,779 and the single channel version will cost you 8,329 rupees now these three dash cameras were mounted on the windshield of my car and i took sample video footages of all these three dash cameras together at the same time so that you get a perfect comparison so these comparison videos have been taken in both day and night condition and also along with that i'll be bringing up the detailed license plate readability of all these three dash cameras so before we go ahead and compare the actual video footages itself let's show you some of the technical specifications that are relevant for this video so that you get a better idea of which camera has the best specifications on paper so starting with the 70mm a400 this has a resolution of 2560 into 1440p followed that by the mola n3 which has a resolution of 2560 into 1600p and then followed by the 70mm A500 which has a resolution of 2592 into 1944p. Now both the MOLA N3 and the A500 have an aperture of f1.8 and the 70mm A400 has an f2.0 aperture. Again having the same features the MOLA N3 and the A500 have a 140 degree field of view but the 70mm A400 has a slightly better 145 degree field of view. Now on paper the 70mm A500 has the higher resolution compared to the MOLA N3 and the A400 but does it translate to a better video clarity in real life? Let's go ahead and find out. So starting with the side by side footage of all three 2.5K dash cameras on the leftmost part of your screen you'll see the DD Pimola M3 dash camera on the middle you have the 70mm A500 and on the right side you find the 70mm A400 now if you go ahead and compare these uh, visuals or the video footages side by side you can clearly make out that the DD Pimola N3 it has a better dynamic range in terms of color accuracy. Now if you can observe the sky, it is more bluish in the DD Pimola N3 footage and in the A500 and 400, it is more or less the same. But the 400 has a slightly bit more dynamic range compared to the A500. So in terms of color accuracy, the MOLA N3 excels here, then followed by the A400 and then followed by the 70mm A500. Now if we turn the vehicle towards the sunlight, now as you can see the MOLA N3 seems to be a bit overexposed on the left side where the sun is shining and in comparison with the 70mm A500 and the A400, the A400 is slightly better compared to the A500 dash camera footage. Now let's go ahead and shift down to the night footages of these three dash cameras and again I'm 
fitting them side by side now more or less the night footage is very much similar and all three dash cameras have some good video footage at the night time but again i want to stress on the color accuracy of the dd pamola n3 and if i go ahead and pause the video and show you the signboard of the pizza hut on the left side you can see the dd pamola n3 color accuracy is actually very much accurate as you can see the red lines on the signboard of the mola n3 footage and compared to the a500 and the a400 now these two exhibit a more or less orange color on the signboard but the mola n3 accurately depicts the red color of the signboard which is actually in reality it's in red color now let's proceed further down into the footage and as you can see it's hardly very difficult to make out any sort of a difference in the footage of the night time because all three dash cameras have the same resolution it's very difficult to make out any sort of a major difference or a major change in terms of video clarity and video quality except the dynamic range of the mola n3 which is slightly better compared to the both of the 70 my a500 and 400 dash cameras now let's go ahead and take a look at the license plate readability of the 70 my a400 and right now i'm following a mahindra tuv 300 vehicle and let's go ahead and close in on the vehicle about a distance of 20 to 30 feet and see if this camera is able to catch the license plate now if i go ahead and zoom in on the license plate now as you can see it is about the distance of 20 to 30 feet from my vehicle i think and even at this distance although there is some sort of a blur on the license plate it is still i mean we are still able to read the number plate and that's a really good thing so let's go ahead and zoom out and uh, go a bit closer to the vehicle that is go right next to the vehicle and see the close range visibility of the license plate now this is a really nice license plate readability it's a very close range and of course at this close range this is what is expected of a dash camera now this offers a really good license plate readability at the very close range of the vehicle right in front of the dash camera now let's go ahead and repeat the same footage using the 70 my a500 now at a distance of 20 to 30 feet again i'm going ahead and zooming now as you can see it is still offering a bit of a blur but nevertheless you can still read the letters and the numbers and you will be able to make out the number plate at such a distance and if you go ahead and close in on the vehicle just as i showed you in the previous example and if i go ahead and zoom in on the license plate now again this too offers a really good license plate readability at a very close range now let's proceed further down the video and go ahead and compare the dd pi mola n3 footage with the same distance and the same vehicle now starting with the dd pi mola n3 footage again i'm pausing the video at the same particular point of time and i'll zoom in and show you now as you can see the dd pamola n3 video clarity i think it's a slightly bit lesser compared to both the a500 and the a400 but nevertheless you can still make out the letters and the numbers in this video but not as clear as both the 70 my a500 and a400 went ahead and offered on their license plate readability now if you go ahead and close in on the vehicle just like the previous examples and then if i go ahead and zoom in let's see what it turns up now if i go ahead and zoom in right here now again this is a really good clarity although i can still say it is slightly lesser compared to the a500 and a400 but nevertheless it's not very bad it's just a slightly bit lesser in quality which is what i feel after looking at this example now in order to go ahead and show you a proper comparison now i'm putting all the license plate samples from all three dash cameras together now this is at a far range that is 20 to 30 feet and on top you can see the a400 in the middle the a500 and at the bottom the dd pamola n3 now you can go ahead and see for yourself which camera offers the best clarity i think all three cameras offer a similar range of clarity and quality and the a400 and the a500 are very much similar in terms of quality and mola n3 is just slightly bit lesser but as i said previously it's almost the same range now if i go ahead and compare the close range license plate readability of these three dash cameras now you can go ahead and see at the close range all three cameras offer the best license plate readability now coming down to the dd pi mola n3 footage at the night time if i go ahead and zoom in of the vehicle that is a hyundai varna at the front of the car at a distance of about 30 feet now this is the license plate readability that dd pi mola n3 offers i think you can make out the number plate but it's not as clear as it was in the daytime situation now if i go ahead and close in on the vehicle and uh, focus on the license plate at a very close range let's see what that turns up now here is a close range shot of the vehicle and at the close range as you can see it is slightly overexposed because of the glare of the headlights of my car falling on the license plate but you can still make out the individual letters and numbers and you will be able to make out the number plate at a very close range using the mola n3 dash camera footage 
Now if we go ahead and uh, try the same using a different camera that is the 70 my A500. Now this is the A500 quality of the license plate and I think this is slightly better than the Mola N3 because uh, it is slightly lesser exposed compared to the Mola N3 sample and I think this also offers a good license plate readability at such a far distance. Now if I go ahead and pause the video again at a close range of the same vehicle and here is the license plate sample. Now this is offering a really good license plate readability and you can specifically make out all the individual letters and the numbers and this is also slightly better than the Mola N3 license plate sample. Now let's go ahead and repeat the same using our last camera that is the 70 my A400 going ahead and pausing at the same time at a distance of 30 feet. Now let's zoom in and looking at this license plate what I see is it is offering a good exposure that is the license plate is not overly exposed at all and the individual letters and the numbers are visible although there is a lot of noise and that is because of the lesser resolution of this camera but you can still make out the number plate at such a high distance. Now if I go ahead and zoom in at a close range now here you can see this is the most clear view I am getting of the close range license plate. Now this is better compared to both the DD5 Mola N3 and the A500 due to slightly lesser exposure but also the drawback is that there is a higher level of noise in this sample compared to the A500 and the Mola N3 but the license plate is pretty much clear and it's very much visible. Now putting together all the license plate samples together now this was at a far range that is about 20 to 30 feet and on top you can see the A400 in the middle you can see the A500 and at the bottom you can see the DD5 Mola N3. Now you guys should tell me which one of these is the most clear and which provides the most accurate license plate readability and I think among these three the 70 my A500 is the best one followed by the 70 my A400 and Mola N3 which is supposedly better than the A400 in terms of resolution but due to higher exposure the license plate is slightly whitewashed compared to the A400 sample. Well 70 my A500 clearly wins in this particular round of night footage distance license plate and at a close range again guys now as you can see the A400 actually tends better in this but it has a higher noise compared to the A500 and the Mola N3. As you can see you can make out the blurry areas around the license plate in the sample of the A400 and the A500 also offers good resolution. The Mola N3 technically it has a higher resolution due to overexposure the license plate seems a bit whitewashed but talking about the readability you can still make out the number plates. One is slightly better than the other and there is no major difference among any three of these dash cameras. So now you've seen the comparison of all three video sample footages and also the license plate readability both in day and night condition. So what do you guys think now which one of these is the perfect dash camera which one of these fares better than the rest two of them. Well I think each camera has its own advantages each camera has its own peak performance points but considering the on paper resolution the 70 my A500 does seem to fare better but in terms of color accuracy in terms of high dynamic range the DD5 Mola N3 is a winner straight away. Each camera performs on its own level and if you're going ahead and buying any of these 2.5k dash cameras the most important aspect of a dash camera is the resolution and higher the resolution the better the video picture quality so always go ahead with a camera with the highest resolution at your permitted budget well following the results of this video there is no clear winner among these three dash cameras and each camera has its own advantages so you have to consider the price point and see the factor or the aspect which you are looking for in order to go ahead and buy a dash camera you want a better picture quality a video quality or a dynamic range i think the dd5 mola n3 is the right one for you and if you want a higher resolution in terms of reading the number plates or the license plates of different cars i think the a500 will do a better job compared to other two so more or less they are all the same and also come at a slightly similar price point so now tell me guys how you found out this video to be and what are your thoughts after watching this video make sure to go ahead and write that down in the comments below and if you're looking to purchase any of these dash cameras the links to purchase them will be in the description of this video so just go ahead click down on the description you'll find all the relevant links right there also along with that just a reminder this video has taken a lot of effort planning and hard work to bring in front of you so make sure you recognize that effort and do not go away without subscribing to travel tech and also do not go away without liking this particular video many more interesting videos coming up in the future both on dash cameras car accessories and many other stuff so make sure you do not miss that and make sure you support my channel so thank you for watching this video and until next one see ya